Hi everyone, so today's grammar lesson is about zero conditionals. The zero conditional is used for things that are always true as long as a condition is met. Facts. What is a zero conditional? We use it to talk about things that are always true or things which happen as a result of something. So facts, general truths, routines, habits, preferences, rules and laws, cause and effects. We also use it to talk about specific situations. Instructions, suggestions and advice, requests. We use it in the simple present tense. Zero conditional form. So how to form the zero conditional. So if plus the present simple comma plus the present simple. So if plus the condition the comma plus the result. An example, if plus I mix hydrogen with oxygen, comma, plus it turns into water. Also, if can be replaced with when or unless. When it rains, comma, tennis lessons are held in the gym. Unless you have money, comma, you can't go on vacation. Zero conditionals, so some sentence examples. So when they're used for facts, if you freeze water, it turns to ice. They can be used to describe routines. Unless I'm late for work, I always catch the train. They can be used for rules and laws. If you're in school, you must follow the rules. They are used for causes and effects. If you eat too much junk food, you'll get a toothache. They are used for specific instructions. If you want to enter the theme park, you'll need to buy a ticket. They are used to give advice. If you go to the beach, put on lots of sunscreen so you don't get sunburned. They are used to make requests. If you're passing the shop, will you buy some water? Remember, zero conditionals are things that are always true. If you heat water, it boils. So to form it, if plus present simple, comma plus present simple. Always remember to use a comma after the first present simple. Now guys, um, there is a worksheet for you to complete. Um, it's, into, it's in the folder. So give it a go and send it on to us um, for correction. Good luck.